In the bowl on the left, we have some calcium chloride solution. In the small beaker to the right, we have some sodium alginate mixed in with some purple cabbage juice. Drops of sodium alginate are dropped into the calcium chloride solution, and a chemical reaction instantly happens. Calcium ions from the calcium chloride replace the sodium ions in the sodium alginate to form calcium alginate. It's a solid gel, it's a gel that traps in the purple cabbage juice. So that's why you see spheres of the purple. Next, a larger amount of sodium alginate is squirted at once into the calcium chloride and you can see it created kind of almost like a worm-like structure. And so it's kind of jelly and stringy and it's kind of really weird. Um, the thing is about the sodium alginate that becomes calcium alginate, it's a, it's a polymer. And it's a polymer made up of simple sugars creating a polysaccharide. And so you have a long chain polymer. Here's another view of it in, in action. Um, recently, chefs have developed what's called molecular gastronomy techniques, and this is one of them. You can mix in some sauces with the sodium alginate, and then you pour that into the calcium chloride solution to create spheres of sauces. And so chefs will then put the sauces over foods for flavoring. So this is a new branch of kind of scientific cooking called molecular gastronomy. And this is kind of the slow motion of that worm being created. It's kind of cool.